Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Fabs here with your week 13 edition of Waiver Wire. You know, we bring in Jen Piacenti every single week to help you add the best players to get to that fantasy postseason berth. And Jen, I feel like this is going to be a heavy Jets focus this week. And let's start off at the quarterback position where we've got Mike White fever. Yeah, gather around, kids, while I tell you the legend of Mike White. Remember last year he threw for 405 yards and three touchdowns versus the eventual AFC champion Bengals? And well, last week he came in instead of Zach Wilson, 315 yards and three touchdowns versus the Chicago Bears. Now listen, I don't know how long he can keep this up, but this week the matchup is right. He's got the Minnesota Vikings and they're allowing the most passing yards per game to quarterbacks this year. If you're in a super flex league or really deep league, it couldn't hurt to at least give it a try. I actually like him. Uh, it's been a wacky year. So why not have Mike White be a fantasy superstar down the stretch? Uh, some other quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson is back this week against the Texans. Jimmy Garoppolo also has a great matchup. And then Jared Goff going up against the Jaguars. Let's move on to the running backs. And we're going to start with another Jet. And I got to be honest here, Jen. I had never mm -hmm. heard of this guy before last week. I hadn't either, uh, but apparently he's the spark that Robert Sala wanted to ignite the team, and it seemed like it worked. I don't know if it was just him or he and Mike White. Maybe we should now call them the White Knights. I don't know. But James oh. Robinson was a healthy scratch, probably because of how good they expected Zonovan White to be. He had 103 all-purpose yards, including catching three passes for 34 yards from, of course, Mike White. He played 18 of 22 early down snaps after Michael Carter left the game with an ankle sprain. Now, we don't know if Michael Carter will be back or not, but this guy is available in 99% of fantasy football leagues. And if you're in a deep league, I think he should be a priority this week. Also, take a look at Kyron Williams. Again, the Rams offense is a mess, but in PPR leagues, he could be worth an ad because his next few matchups, the Seahawks, the Raiders, and Green Bay. And you could also be looking at Ty Johnson as a waiver wire ad this week. Daryl Henderson because of Travis Etienne's injury. And then Jordan Mason uh, suddenly is going to have some value here as a sneaky ad at running back. Let's move on to the wide receivers. And I loved Christian Kirk last week. And uh, I was wrong. Why? Because his teammate Zay Jones went nuclear. But the good news is Zay Jones is available in 75% of fantasy football leagues. He was an early season pickup and then people kind of got tired and dropped him. He wasn't quite giving them what they wanted. I was lucky. I happened to hold on to him and start him this week in a league, which worked out really well for me. But uh, this game has the highest game total of the week at SI Sportsbooks. It's Jacksonville versus Detroit. I like a lot of the players in this game. Jones was started 14 times on Sunday. He caught 10 of them. For 145 yards and he finished as the wide receiver seven for the week so if he's on the wire he's a great streamer also our guy from last week Traylon Burks had a good game and keep your eye on Michael Gallup who seems to be bolting up the depth chart and Dak Prescott is getting healthier and healthier uh, Elijah Moore also potentially worth a look why not mention another jet uh, like I said a heavy Jets edition of the waiver wire finally at the tight end position Evan Ingram mm -hmm. put up a bit of a stinker last week. The numbers have not been great lately, but he's got a really good matchup coming up in week 13. He does, and it's a matchup with a team that has allowed the fourth most receiving yards to opposing tight ends. I also like Foster Moreau, who played 100% of the snaps for the past two weeks. He's seen 10 targets across the past two weeks for a touchdown as well, and the Chargers have surrendered the third most receiving yards to tight ends. So both Foster Moreau and Evan Ingram are priority ads this week for the tight end position, simply because, well, let's be honest, there's just not a lot there. There isn't. Uh, Hayden Hurst could also be out there. Maybe Jelani Woods, who had a big game uh, against yeah. the Steelers on Monday night. And if you want to get nuts, let's just mention another Jet. Tyler Conklin's got a revenge game against the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, thanks, yeah. Jen, for all the help. And hey, folks, you know what? If you want the best fantasy and betting information on the World Wide Web, you need to be checking out Sports Illustrated. And of course, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for all the best waiver wire ads, starts and sits, so much more out there. We are trying to help you win a fantasy championship. Hit that subscribe button.